And with that, I am going to send it over to Stan McCluskey for Gertrude. Do you remember when you were a kid? Do you remember your favorite food? You could not purchase it. It had to be home cooked. Maybe it was crab cakes, mac and cheese, chocolate gravy. For me, it was Southern fried chicken. The only time we ate Southern fried chicken was at some special event like at church. We were poor and the only meat we could afford was bologna. And it was turkey bologna at that. Now, occasionally at church, there'd be that special event with a potluck lunch. I couldn't wait for that real home cooked southern fried chicken, handcrafted with love by one of the old women in church. Not that fake chicken from KFC. And there would always be one large platter of that golden brain, mouth-watering, southern fried chicken, uniquely seasoned with special pixie dust by one of the old women in church. See, each of these old women, they had their own special pixie dust or special recipe. And only way I could ever enjoy their fried chicken was to go to church because they never invited me to the house. Not that I'm bitter. As a kid, I remember looking at these old women and I swore that they were born old. I believed if they ever perfected southern fried chicken, that a chariot shaped like a flaming southern fried chicken breast would come down from the sky and carry them off to heaven. They wouldn't even have to die. Now, eat these chickens that these old ladies had. They were free range. They ran around in the front yard. And the little old ladies, they knew each chicken by name. I remember this one old woman, she waddled out onto her front porch one day, looked around and pointed, Gertrude, it's time for you to serve the Lord. Be served to the Lord's people. Oh, I still remember Gertrude, a golden brown, southern fried with love. Now, now, there was a second venue where we could enjoy southern fried chicken. Each week, when a newspaper came to the house, my brother and I, we would skip the comics. We would skip the sports. And we'd go right to the obituaries. Because do you know what they had at funerals? I mean, beside dead people? Home cooked southern fried chicken. My brother and I, we learned which churches served the best southern fried chicken, and we would go to funerals. Most of the time, we didn't even know the deceased. We would just say, we're here to see Uncle so-and-so or Aunt so-and-so. But one time we walked in, we said, we're here to see Uncle John. Well, a lady looked at us suspicious. She said, I'm his sister-in-law, and that's my sister over by the casket. You boys can to Uncle John. Well, I leaned in and I whispered, yes, ma'am, Uncle John got around, don't you know? Oh, she jumped back, looked over at the casket, looked over at her sister, and then she got a big smile on her face. And then she leaned in and whispered, he sure did. Then she showed us where that southern fried chicken was. Now, several years ago, my aunt passed away in Alabama. And please don't judge me. 
all I could think about was Gertrude and sampling some of her came from. I remember walking into that fellowship hall where my aunt's celebration of life was being held. And the moment I had waited for, the reason I had driven 800 miles. Okay, one of the reasons. I saw the table with the chicken. And tears, tears streamed down my face. And there was not just one, but there was four, four large buckets of KFC. I didn't have to drive 800 miles for KFC. But a pastor sees me the tears. He said, Brother Stan, your aunt is in a better place. But pastor, what about the Southern fried chicken? He said, brother Stan, there's people in this church who own diets and they don't eat Southern fried chicken. So pastor, they eat KFC instead. Oh, that's right, brother Stan. And they love the extra crispy the best because they own diets. Well, I've always been on a diet, so I had to get a little extra crispy myself. But I remember as I walked out of that fellowship hall that day, that it occurred to me that many things change with time. Few things are as good as we remember them, but there's no replacement for the real thing. So you can keep your fake KFC and that crispy too. Because for me, the real thing will always be Southern fried Gertrude.